Good day guys and welcome to the show where I report on the latest in gaming news and if you end up enjoying today's video please remember to smack the like button as always and now let's jump to our first news report on today's show. And our first news report on today's show is about backwards compatibility on the PlayStation 4. To be specific it's the PS2 emulation of games on the PlayStation 4 which recently was announced by Sony. This initially wasn't a big announcement but with the release of Star Wars Battlefront it became known that hey there are games from the PS2 being emulated such as older Star Wars games on the PlayStation 4 which was crazy and then once people started asking questions Sony gave us some answers and they did tell us hey Yes, we are emulating some games. We're making it possible for the PlayStation 4 to play older PS2 games. The cool thing is now there are some tests going on showing off how these games actually perform on the PlayStation 4. Most of these games are capped at 30 frames per second. They are older games. It makes sense. But yeah, these tests are pretty interesting to look at. Some games don't perform as well and some do really well. But then there's games in the middle like Jedi Starfighter and Bounty Hunter that just go, hey, what's going on here? It's performing but then it's not performing because it's on that PS2 emulation onto the PS4 it's very interesting really and the PlayStation 4 is actually doing a lot of work to process all this stuff some games actually boost the frame rate because the PlayStation 4 is doing so much work but then you're seeing like 20 FPS on some other games which is just kind of weird to be honest if you do want to check out all these comparisons and all these tests with frame rate and how the games perform through emulation on the PlayStation 4 from PlayStation 2 original games. You can, it is all linked down below in the description. It's very, very interesting to check out if you're interested in that sort of stuff. But now let's get to our next gaming news report on today's show. And it's some more news related to the PlayStation 4 and Star Wars Battlefront. And it's got to do with the amount of players playing Star Wars Battlefront. It's been revealed that most of the people playing the game are actually on the PlayStation 4 compared to the PC and Xbox. Online players peaked at 49,000 1,871 in a 24-hour period on the PC. There were 110,000 in that 24-hour period on the Xbox One, and then 187,000 in that 24-hour period on the PlayStation 4, which is just incredible. One of the big reasons, possibly, that the PlayStation 4 does have a lot more players on peak times is due to its market share. It does own quite a lot of it. This is comparing to the Xbox One, as there are a lot more PlayStation 4 users out there. But it's very interesting to see that a lot of people on the PC just aren't really playing this game. Personally, I've been splitting my time between the PC because it runs really, really well on there. It looks amazing and some of my friends are on there and then also on the Xbox One because a lot of my friends are also on there. I haven't actually had a chance to play it on the PS4, but hey, I guess most people are playing it on the PS4, so it's pretty interesting news. And there we have it, guys. That is the gaming news for today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Now, Gorilla Man, please hand me that question. Thanks, Gorilla Man. Okay, guys, the question is, what is the hardest game you've played in 2015 and why was it so difficult? So get creative with your answer and put it down below in the comment section and you can end up on the next show. But if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you smack like button because I'm Champ Chong, my access is only here.